Speaking of music, how about a different kind? Let's talk bluegrass. Hot springs, fresh powder, plenty of great music. It's the seventh annual Colorado Winter Wondergrass. It returns to Ski Town USA this weekend. The music festival in Steamboat running Friday to Sunday. And the event's founder and producer, Scotty Stoughton, is with us now. So let's how did this get started? Because obviously it's successful. This is the seventh year. How did it get started? I got started, I had an idea uh, years ago. I've been in producing festivals and there's a lot of great festivals out there with terrible beer. There's a lot of <laughs> great beer festivals with terrible, terrible music. music. Yeah. Yeah, so I decided to put the best of both worlds together and where better than Colorado to kind of, you know, light the fire on those I would have gone the other way. I would have gone terrible beer, terrible music festival. So you did it right. That's good thinking. Yeah, yeah. So the people have been loving it. So we're grateful to be back year seven. And you kind of said this is this kind of is going back to what like a ski town feel really should be like, like really like when people picture a Colorado ski town. Definitely. That's one of the big ideas. And I grew up in the East Coast in, in Vermont. And I remember those days where you'd ski all day. And it wasn't about the conditions or the hype or the brands. It was about community and getting together yeah. and bringing the kids around and having the older folks come around and getting together at the end of the day and just uh, doing some outdoor grilling, listening to some great picking and drinking some great beer. Well, let's talk about that. For people who haven't been, it, it can get cold in Steamboat this time <laughs> yeah. of year. So you're indoors, you're outdoors. Uh, what, what does this look like? It's a little of both. So we, we take over a parking lot with a, a sight line right to Steamboat Resorts. You can walk to the gondola. And we build about 20 tents. Three of them are huge tents that hold about 1,500 people. Right. And we build backdrops, side stages, barn wood, chandeliers, whiskey barrels, and put on three shows at the same time. When those shows are over, you go outside to the main stage, and we heat the main stage, and uh, you kind of go from outdoor to indoor. But there's heated kid zones, there's a heated coffee bar, there's a bunch of side uh, tents, there's a VIP zone that's heated. So you can get your warmth on, but definitely bundle up and know that you're going to be inside and outside. Well, if you're going to Steamboat, you should be prepared anyway, but <laughs> this way you have both. And uh, you guys were talking about some of the acts. I mean, there's some the names that if you love bluegrass, you should know. Absolutely. You know, Trampled by Turtles is making their first appearance at Winter Wondergrass in Colorado. And some of our good friends, the infamous String Dusters are coming back, Railroad Earth, Fruition, uh, Billy Strings, and a host of about 20 other bands, some from Colorado. Tell me about Billy Strings. You were, you were just getting excited in the break. He's Tell fun. He, he's uh, pretty new on the scene, a young guy. He's really taken over and really showing what bluegrass is going to be in the future. He comes with a lot of roots in the scene, but kind of brings it with a little bit of a heavy metal background and a youthful wait, exuberance. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah. Bluegrass with a heavy metal background. Yeah, and if you know music, there's a lot of similarities. I mean, it's four on the floor, it's flying, it's really quick, you have to pick really quickly. So it serves the music really well to understand both of those genres, and Billy just. He just takes over, so he's one to watch. The other thing that interests me is I, I think of bluegrass as being for people maybe a little older. But you <laughs> say Billy Strings, a young guy, and yeah. so bluegrass is hot. Bluegrass is really hot. It's great to see it because people are understanding the, the power of that music. There's a great message. It's very community-based, but it's also just blistering and a lot of fun. It kind of rides the heels of the jam scene, you know, the Grateful Dead and Fish and all these bands right. that really pave the way to this touring culture and this festival culture. Well, now you can get that same excitement and enthusiasm from string music, and it's authentic, and it's real. And I book artists that will play when the lights go out, and they'll play in the hotel lobbies, and they'll play in the afternoons. That's They're cool. all about music. How about tickets? Can they still get tickets and how do they get them? Um, well, it's officially sold out. We sold out a few months ago. Wow. We have an incredible audience here in Colorado in Steamboat Springs. But you can go to our website. We have a, an approved fan to fan exchange. Keeps the scalpers out of it. People do want to get rid of their tickets. If something comes up, they go to the exchange. People that want to buy tickets go to the exchange. And it's a safe way to get uh, your hands on tickets without being how else? scalped. Deal. How else are you going to get trampled by turtles? <laughs> that's, <laughs> trampled that's, that's by the, turtles. That's it's memorable. Be going on that's this right. Yeah. Scotty, thanks for coming in. That sounds in. like a blast. Yeah. Fun weekend. See you at the show. <laughs>